Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today's video is about the Beatles song, The Continuing Story of Bungalow Bill. It was a song from their White Album. John Lennon wrote this song and it was credited to Lennon McCartney. John wrote this song while he was in India, inspired by a true story. Here's the story. A young American named Richard Cook, who was also known as Rick, visited his mother Nancy Cook at the ashram of the Maharishi in Rishikesh, at the same time the Beatles were in India. According to Nancy's life account, Beyond Gurus, the origin of this song occurred when her, her son and several others including guides, set out upon elephants to hunt for a tiger. During the hunt, the pack of elephants was attacked by a tiger and it was shot dead by Rick. Initially, he was proud of his reaction and even posed for a photograph with his prize. Everyone who was at the site understood the necessity of Rick's action, but John's reaction was scornful and sarcastic. He asked Rick, but wouldn't you call that slightly life-destructive? Then John wrote this song to mock Rick's bravado and unenlightened attitude. John told his version of this story in an interview with Playboy in 1980. Bungalow Bill was written about a guy in Maharishi's meditation camp who took a short break to go shoot a few poor tigers, and then came back to commune with God. There used to be a character called Jungle Jim, and I combined him with Buffalo Bill. It's sort of a teenage social comment song and a bit of a joke. This is what Mia Farrow wrote about this incident in her autobiography. She wrote, Then a self-important, middle-aged American woman arrived moving a mountain of luggage into the brand new private bungalow next to Maharishi's bungalow, along with her son, a bland young man named Bill. People fled this newcomer, and no one was sorry when she left the ashram after a short time to go tiger hunting, unaware that their presence had inspired a new Beatles song Bungalow Bill. This is rather a childish and upbeat song. It's kind of funny given the fact John disliked Paul's song Obla di Obla Da. John Lennon and Yoko Ono sang the lead vocals of this song. Paul McCartney, George Harrison, Ringo Starr and Maureen Starkey participated with backing vocals. This is the only Beatles song that features lead vocals by a non-member. So I think that's it for today's video. If you enjoy the video, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us.